All right, Charlie. What day is it? Today is day 162. Yep. Uh, over the past few days. Uh, my dad has been working on this little thing on this breadboard right here with an Arduino and a little screen. Mm -hmm. And our goal was to have something that uh, showed you things that you wouldn't really need to like have while you're driving on the road, but just good to have. So motor temps or RPMs or batteries or whatever it was to put on here. To do that, we needed to spy on these CAN bus messages with the, these connectors that were going to the USB thing. I don't remember where that was going, but anyway, hook that up, and now it's going to this little screen. Yeah, so this was kind of a side project for Dad that I've been playing with. <laughs> And I've been really excited about it because to me, once I can really decode and understand the CAM bus messages, I feel like then I own it. I can I can build things that use it. I can send messages on the CAM bus. I can decode ones. And so I've um, learned a lot about so far about the Nissan Leaf CAM bus. So like Charlie said, this is an ESP32 WROOM32D chip. This is their dev kit for it. Um, and then this is an MCP2515 CAN bus interface. Um, but at the same time, so that's using the vSPY interface on the ESP32, but the another SPY interface is going up here to this screen. And actually, rather than just doing raw writes to write text and everything, I've actually been playing around with the, um, there's a port for the uh, IM GUI or M GUI framework, which is an immediate mode GUI that a lot of developers use. And, and uh, someone ported it to the Arduino, and I've been using that. And so I've been learning about that library as well. Anyway, but the general idea here is that if we, let's see, we turn on our battery voltage. And we've got 250 volts there. And if we turn on our VCU, we hear the pre-charge, then the contactor click, and then we get some data so uh, the the temperatures that get parsed out of the CAN bus messages are not right there's two temperatures that right now they say they're 69 I'm only showing one of them and then there's a motor temperature and it it looks too high and a lot I, I don't know that I've seen these temperatures change I need to go and play with them um, so it's possible those temperatures are wrong um, at least one of them is wrong but possibly both of them is wrong and then like this is the voltage that the inverters reporting back. So Charlie, if you want to put it in gear and then give forward. me a, yeah, put it forward and then press the pedal. We'll see that it requests torque from the motor and then you'll see the torque the motor's applying. And you let off the torque, the request goes negative. So go ahead, do it again. And you can see the voltage drop a little bit that the inverter is reporting. And then give it one turn, go a little faster. All right. Yep. So, you know, it's uh, it's exciting. We've got a little little side project going, and uh, and it seems to be working. So, at least from the point of view of CAN messages, as this system starts to grow and there's more CAN messages going around, we're going to have a way to to spy on them and potentially show them in the car if we want. So, cool. Mm-hmm.